Hi, it's me, Nicole, and um, I'm gonna do, I guess, what's considered a catch-up. I feel like it's probably worth mentioning that I've moved house now, uh, which is great, um, but also a lot of work, because I guess I didn't mention that we moved house because we bought our first house. Um, <laughs> yay! Uh, so that's really cool, but that's also a lot of work, and we're kind of in a state of disarray at the moment. There's been a lot of things happening. Um, and I think it would be really fun to sort of show you a little bit of that. Maybe if that's something that's interesting to people. Um, it seems to be interesting to my friends at least, so maybe it'll be interesting to you, I don't know. Um, but I've been doing a lot of reading still, or trying to anyway. I'm reading, I'm reading The Faster I Walk, The Smaller I Get, I think it's called. Um, I don't remember any author names right now. Uh, but I will have the uh, book cover somewhere on the screen uh, and I'm reading that for Norway for Invisible Cities. Um, I also wanted to read some of that um, Yo... no, Ja Nespa I think is his name. Um, his books, uh, his middle grade books, not so much the crime thriller novels that he's more famous for, uh, just because I don't know, I really like middle grade and it is March after all, so, you know, middle grade March and stuff, but also I think that's just my preferred um, genre out of those two options, you know, crime thriller versus middle grade. Um, other than that, I wanted to, I still want to read the book that I was reading for February for Guyana, which was How Europe Underdeveloped Africa uh, by Walter Rodney. Um, that one's really interesting to me, but it's also very dry, and I feel like that particular book is hard to get into because it's it's nonfiction, which I enjoy, and I have mostly been reading nonfiction uh, so far this year. But I think something about this particular book I think would have benefited from being at least narrative nonfiction or something to keep not to keep the flow so much as to um, I don't know make it feel less like just hitting me with a bunch of facts and stuff because um, it's really interesting but again I'm finding it difficult to hold on to anything really uh, beyond the really general uh, ideas and I realize that this is really shaky but that's because I'm holding it with my hand I don't know where my tripod is um let's see what else is going on uh, we had our kitchen done Maybe I'll show some pictures of that, I don't know. And our bathroom needs to get done. But, um, let me think, what else What else is going on reading-wise? After doing the buddy read with Mionicorn last month of uh, how to lose a country in seven steps, um, something about democracy to dictatorship, that was a really good book. Um, and I hope to talk about that in a bit more depth later. Uh, we decided after that to read Identity, which um, I'm really slow at. I'm definitely way behind her at the moment, I'm trying to catch up. But I really enjoy doing... I, I think I enjoy buddy reads in general anyway, but I um, especially have been enjoying doing the buddy reads with her. She just always has uh, a lot of interesting points to add to the discussion, and, um, and I feel like I gain a lot from it, and just, I think in general, talking things out as I'm reading them makes me think about the content a lot more. I guess it's kind of like when uh, Natalie was talking about writing in the books that she's reading, and how that helps you to retain more, and I feel like that's actually a habit that I might try to do more in general as well, just like writing in my books, little notes and things like that, um, to help me retain things better. Anyway, um, I don't know that there's a whole lot to to say other than that right now, or at least nothing is uh, really popping out in my mind, so I think I'm gonna just maybe show some clips of things and put some words in that explain a bit of things and uh, yeah that's it
I guess that should explain a little bit about my uh, all over the place-ness, but I do hope that gradually normalcy will return to me um, and I'll be able to talk more about more books because that's been really fun and seeing what you guys think about the books that I'm reading or whatever else. Uh, yesterday was the first day of spring and I'm really looking forward to Springathon this year now. I really, really, really hope I have time to properly engage in it as well uh, because it was really fun last year. I think I read, I don't know, like seven books or something. I don't know, I'm making a number up. I have vague recollection of anything that happened more than maybe two days ago. But that's all I have to say for now and I'll see you again later. Bye.